What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Hopman Fitness, a.k.a. Hashtag Games. Before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos. Follow me on Instagram at Hopman Fitness and follow my band, Divided Dimension, on Spotify. Yeah. All right. I got magic spoon action. Yeah, let's get a thumbnail. Magic Spoon is a company that has protein cereal. Um, so you're looking at uh, $39 for four boxes. You can get a variety pack of all four flavors that they have for $39. So you're looking at like 10 bucks a box of cereal for this box of cereal. So that's that's the value on that. Um, I do want to say that they did send this shit for free. They gave me the four pack, so I got to try all four flavors. So I really appreciate that. So thank you for sending me over the product to review on the channel. Really appreciate it. So this is Magic Spoon. This is the chocolate one. Yeah, you even got some old school when you were kids type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Got that fucking maze in the back while you're eating a box or whatever. All right, so as far as the macros, 110 calories, right? Which is a half a cup of serving. You have seven servings, so you have seven half cups is the entire box of cereal. 110 calories, six grams of fat, five grams of saturated fat, eight carbs, two grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, 12 grams of protein. Protein is coming from milk protein isolate, whey protein isolate, and monk fruit extract, and it's stevia sweetened. And then there's uh, chicory root fiber as the uh, fiber source. So, oh, it also has allulose for a sweetener. It's three different types of sweetener. So this is the chocolate one. It says high protein, keto friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and weight free. Nothing artificial, childlike cereal for grown-ups. Or some grown-up action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what you're looking at. Box of cereal, and this is what you get. Baggy action. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Oh, they smell like some old school chocolate, man. It smells like some old school chocolate. It smells like some old school chocolate action. Get a bowl out like an old school day. Back in like when I was a kid, man. Let's bring me back to when I was a kid. Alright, so I like them already without even adding milk. And this is my first time reviewing the uh this this brand. I reviewed the other ones a couple days ago. And I like to say that I do like to snack on them just with no milk. Just by itself. They're kind of pretty good to just snack on. Um, they do make your mouth kind of dry, though. All right, so the crunch factor is definitely there. The crunch factor is there. Texture is pretty much there. I mean... To be honest, you're missing, you're definitely missing that sweet action, you know. And then you bite into it, you get that sweet, awesome chocolate from real cereal, right? This is kind of like crunchy, not sweet, a little bit of chocolate action, but not much. It definitely resembles, it definitely resembles uh, cereal, right? But you're missing that sweet action for sure. It's very light on the chocolate too. Just like a minor chocolate taste. For what it is, it's pretty good. I mean, I think it could be tweaked a little bit, to be honest. I 
Yeah, I think it needs to be tweaked a little bit. You know, will, will it kill your cereal craving? I'd say yes. But you're also going to miss that sweet, that sweet factor. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of uneventful when you're eating it. It's kind of like you're eating cereal, but it's like pretty uneventful in your mouth. You definitely get that crunch action and all that, but you're missing that sweet factor. So um, as far as as far as taste, I'm going to give it like a... I'm gonna give it a hmm. I'm gonna give it right. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a seven point five. No, no. I'm gonna give it an eight. For what it is, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight, and that's gonna be pretty much it. Um, my only thing is that it needs to get maybe a little bit tweaked. Give it a little bit of a sweet factor, salty factor. You know, it's also kind of missing that salt factor too. It's only 60 milligrams of uh, 60 milligrams of sodium. I guess that's kind of a lot. <laughs> I don't know. It's missing that sweet factor though, for sure. So, I don't know. Overall, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. That's gonna be pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for the support as always. Let me know what you want to see next. <laughs> if you don't like it too fucking bad, subscribe, share, like, and comment below. Scroll, but don't troll. And don't hate me, cousin fucking swole. Don't forget to follow me on my social media at Opperman Fitness, Facebook, Opperman Fitness, Snapchat, Opperman Fitness, Instagram, Opperman Fitness. Don't forget to like my band page, Divide Dimension on Facebook. Follow my band, Divide Dimension on Spotify. <clears throat> Shop all of your supplement needs at TigerFitness.com using my affiliate link, which will be in the description box below. If you guys want to check this shit out, go to Magic Spoon. Uh, go to their Instagram, just type in Magic Spoon, this shit will come up, and you can check it out, and you can buy it. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys happen to buy it, let me know what you guys think. Other than that, I'll check you guys later.